What is going on everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So this video is a little bit different. Uh, this video is me asking you guys a question specific to the C6 Corvette. Now, if you've been watching my videos or this is the first video that you're watching from this channel, I own a C6 Corvette. I've owned this Corvette for years. I've done plenty of videos on various modifications. And this upcoming season, I do have a laundry list of things that I need to get done like heads and cam and other exterior will say, you know, facelifts because certain things that I've done to the vehicle over the years are starting to wear and show their age in a sense. But I also made a commitment to myself to just wait till better weather because Mother Nature, if you guys look behind me there in the woods, I got some snow and it's cold again. And I said, you know what? I don't want to run the heater. I don't want to lay on the concrete floor. I want to be comfortable when I do these things so I don't rush through them. Specifically, if you're doing like heads and cam, basically a complete top end overhaul on the vehicle. So, yes, I want to be in comfort, specifically when you get older and you have, you know, a career and kids and everything else, basically life in general. You want to kind of focus in. And I used to be so obsessed about, even like when I owned boats, that's another example, to get everything done on time to get basically the most usage out of it. Of course, with boats, is a little bit different. You do want to get in early so you don't waste your season. But with uh, this vehicle in particular uh, situation that I'm in, um, I would rather just wait. And whenever the vehicle is done, it's done. I'll take it to uh, my tuner and get the vehicle uh, tuned to heads and cam and all the modifications that I uh, have planned for it. But this one is specific to a front lip or a front diffuser. Now, I've been kind of kicking this uh, can down the road for years. <clears throat> I do like a nice front lip on the C6, basically to extend the profile. Uh, it mounts to the underside of your front bumper. I have a base Corvette, so you know they have a couple of different versions, uh, like a ZR1 type style, then they have some larger ones. But regardless, if you look at uh, eBay, Amazon, or um, you know other various, um, we'll say online stores, there's really one company that comes up uh, time and time and time again, which is EOS, which I wanna say EOS is Extreme Online Store. Yeah, Extreme Online Store. And um, they do have pictures and reviews on their website, but of course, no one is going to put negative reviews on their own website, on their own store. I'm not sure if it's a local company, meaning local to the U.S., or if they just receive the products from overseas and they sell them. But, you know, they have, um, you know, side skirts, which I'm not a fan of. I would never put side skirts on this C6. Um, they sell spoilers. They sell front lips for like C5, 6s, 7s. C8s, they also have various other GM products covered as well. But uh, the biggest thing is if you go to other um, stores, let's say Amazon or whatever it is, different platforms, you get mixed reviews then. You know, some people say it sucks, some people say it's okay. But one of the things I noticed even on their store is the reviews with pictures that they have is there's always a gap on the outer, uh, we'll say, radius where it hugs the side of the front bumper. So basically right where the wheel liner starts or the front of the tire, there is a gap there. And in some pictures it's there, in some pictures it's not, maybe it's just the angle. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not sure if it's a, you know, uh, old rev, new rev, if it's a different mold, if it's a different process. So my question to you guys is this, if you have a C6, have you purchased products from EOS specific to the front lip? Do you like it? How is the fit and finish? Um, how is it holding up? I'm not asking, you know, hey, I'm driving down the road and I'm, you know, when I hit a huge crater like we have here in Michigan and cracked it. I don't care about that. That stuff happens. I'm talking about more of just durability. If I was to get a front lip, I would get in gloss black to match the black uh, color of the vehicle. I wouldn't get carbon fiber. It's really not carbon fiber. It's more of a like a hydro dip, basically. But uh, yeah, gloss black, front lip, ZR1 style, extended lip, basically. Uh, I'm not worried about the installation. I'm more worried about just the overall, we'll say investment. Even though it's under $300, it's like $250 or something like that shipped to the door or less. But regardless, 
you know, if you own a C6, if you have a EOS product, or possibly if you know a better company that has a much superior product, uh, comment below. And I really want to do my own research through your experience and through your eyes. And uh, like I said, I don't really like that gap, that fit and finish, on at least the pictures that I see. It's like a 50-50. Some of them look great, some of them don't. Um, so yeah, comment below. Uh, let me know what you think of the EOS. If you have the EOS front lip on your C6, regardless if it's a base or a white body. Um, and of course, comment below if there's another company out there that makes a much better product, uh, because I would rather pay more and get something that fits well, uh, the finish is better, for example, and of course will last longer. And when I say last longer, will last longer through the elements of just washing and driving the vehicle versus just buying something and saying, hey, it's there but it's super flimsy and is either gonna fall apart uh, from just driving the vehicle or let's say the paint is gonna fade. Comment below.